Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the F1 2021 Career Mode. My team here on the Chesnoy Plays channel. We're in the Netherlands today for the Dutch Grand Prix at Zandvoort. It's the circuit where we picked up our first points on 2020 in my team. But we've already got points so far this year at Austria. So hopefully we can grab more today. Not sure we will. But we'll give it a damned good go nonetheless. Of course, as ever, drop the video like if you're enjoying this series. A number of you are. Thank you very much for doing so. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any further videos. And we will head straight to the Netherlands now and hopefully have decent weather. The, the track is by the beach, by the coast in real life. So I don't know if it will rain or not. Or what the weather conditions might be. But you can see we've got £1.19 million left at present. And our driver... His market value is 2 million. So what we're planning on doing, actually, because we made the decision at the end of the last episode, but to reiterate the decision we've made, we are planning on not getting Callum Eilat next at the renewal in, like, two weeks' time, but going for Robert Schwartzman instead, who is better in two areas significantly. Slightly worse in experience. Pace is exactly the same, but... His racecraft and awareness are much better, and he's more than or less than half the price. So it makes sense to get Schwartzman in for Callum Eilat, and then we can utilise the money that we make then between now and the end of the season on uh, the facilities and try and progress from there. Now, I don't believe we need to make any changes to our components for this Grand Prix. Uh, control electronics, maybe we could throw in some fresh control electronics. Yeah, we should be all right with that one. Should be all right with that one. Right. To the race weekend. Please. Please no rain. That's what we're praying for. Please no rain. Quali is going to absolutely fucking smash it down. But at least the Grand Prix is dry, I think. I hope. Yes, a dry Grand Prix, but a certainly wet and soggy. Not even soggy. Sodden qualifying session. We will put a setup on the car, though, that will suit the dry running in the race. Of course, part firm conditions once you start quali. We don't really want to set up for quali and then be hampered in the race. I'd rather qualify slightly slower and be better in the race. Our recent results are showing improvement. Hopefully, we can continue that improvement today. Let's head, then, to the first practice session here at Zanvoort, as ever. Drop the video a like. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Links in the description down below. Time to go to the Netherlands. Well, program Not amazing on quality pace. But that wasn't much help to us. Not amazing on quality pace. We were able to do the time management and the race strategy once we got the flow of the circuit down, but on quality pace, not there. Not there. Callum's doing 111 ones now. It's going to be a much tougher Grand Prix weekend this one than it was in Belgium, I imagine. It's certainly looking that way. Hopefully we can qualify well. As far as I recall, it's not that easy a circuit to overtake on. So if we can qualify well in the rain, then maybe the session has drawn track position close, might so be our... might be king. Track position might be king. Alternatively, I might be shit slow. We'll have to wait and see how, uh, how things progress. But that's not the strongest of quality pace from us. Nor competitiveness with other with other drivers on similar compound of tire hmm this could be this could be this could be rough <laughs> quality time come on come on come on the wall a bit of a big old clout eight tenths we found on that lap a 119 seven but everyone else would have improved as well as the trap rubbered in. Where is a 119.7 going to put us in the rain? We were significantly green there, but I imagine everyone else is going to be significantly green at the end of the session as well. We were 21st just ahead of Latifi. A wow, Mick did a 119 flat in the Haas. Where has that come from for them? 21st still. We stay 21st, but we're more in touch. We're more in touch with at least our teammate and Latifi who improved. It was Mazepin that didn't improve at all. In the wet, nothing. In the wet, we had nothing. But provided our tyre wear... Let's have your take on it. Provided our tyre wear is as good as it was the in the has session. Ideal in qualifying. What's your take on it? 
who can predict the weather? You won't be starting at the front of the pack. Are you worried? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that one. There's quite a buzz around this team at the moment. What are your thoughts on them? They're doing okay, Aston Martin. Fair play to Appreciate them. Appreciate your time. Right. That's the money assured from our sponsor for answering the questions. We are not involved in Q2 or Q3. We've only been involved in Q2 once, haven't we, so far? Yuki is certainly going to batter me in this rivalry. Our team and driver acclaims are going up. But now it's race time. Back in the dry, thankfully. Full race in the dry where we should be more competitive than we were in the wet. And like I say, if our tie wear is as good as it was in the practice programs, we could be able to try something on strategy here. Because 22% chance of rain later in the race, I don't think that's going to that's gonna bring any rain. Just some, just some clouds. We should be okay to avoid that. Yuki's just battering me, but that's to be expected. Right. We'll take a little bit of front wing out again, because we've put a bit more in to do quali. And then we can hopefully have an agreeable Grand Prix. Won't be as good as some of the recent ones, but hopefully we can still be competitive and it'll be better than Spain and Silverstone anyway. So in the wet, they qualified as follows. Valtteri Bottas on pole. Lewis just a tenth behind. Bottas doing a 16-9 in the wet. We have Jeez, those Mercedes have some pace. Perez, the Red Bull's doing Charles well Leclerc here. And, and McLaren's not quite Sainz, so much. Norris, That's a poor showing from Bethel, McLaren in qualifying. They'll be disappointed Gassi. with that. Where's Roll, Yuki? Fernando Yuki's Alonso, not in the top 12. Kimi Reichen, He's not in the top 14. Mick Schumacher getting through to Q2 Russell, is outrageous. Russell did Antonio it as well. Sunoda in 18. No, no penalty seemingly Ireland. for Sunoda. Latifi, Eilert, myself and, and Mazepin. Right, we're going to be trying something trying something on strategy here. I am going to adjust the setup slightly, which it should allow okay, me to. It reckons that my tie wear is actually very good, but it still recommends... Right, we'll take that, take that out there. It still recommends a two-stop. But we're just going to hopefully be able to go a lot longer on the soft tyres. I might go soft, medium, soft here. We'll see how far the first set of soft tyres take us, then we could consider going to hards, but I don't know if I'd be quick enough on a hard. I, we could one-stop it. We could one-stop it. It might work. It doesn't reckon it's too... It doesn't reckon it's... It's too different projected tyre wear time to anything else. And mate, if I... If, oh. But if I have to then go in again, I'll have lost loads of time. What are we saying, lads? Soft, hard, or soft, soft, medium? We'll try soft, hard. We'll try soft, hard, and then if the soft tyres don't last, then we'll switch to a medium. You never know. Taking risks might work. Taking risks might work. We'll give it a go. Thank you, Swagger Sultan, for following up that f uh, follow one minute ago with a Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the gang, my friend. Contract signed on the dotted line. Cheers, pal. You can see some of the other drivers are trying different strategies as well. I think a number of the other drivers are also trying to one-stop. A lot of medium starters here. A lot of medium start. Almost all medium starters. Almost all medium starters. That's very intriguing. A really mixed tyre grid. This is going to be particularly difficult to... Uh, to predict then. We've gone bold on strategy and a number of others have as well. But we're going to have to make as much progress as we can on these soft tyres then. So to make the most of those on the mediums. If I get stuck by medium runners, then that's, that's really going to affect our strategy. A little bit cool for my liking. It's up to 80 now. All right, here we go then. Reforming on the grid. This could go any which way, couldn't it? This is absolutely unpredictable now. Absolutely unpredictable. Thank you for the follow. Uh, this being has no name and used. Welcome to the channel, guys. White's put me inside my teammate. I'm not entirely too sure. We're, gonna, we're starting on the racing line, which should hopefully give us better traction off the line. I'd like to think we can get better traction than those medium runners. But we'll wait and see if we can actually get a decent launch. Oh, yes, we can. I'm going to commit to the outside. We might take Latifi right off the bat. We have done. That's a great start. Oh, it's such a small and narrow track. We've got the inside line here. 
sorry, outside line here, which means we should have the inside line for the next bit. So you know they're still in front of me. So we're up to P20 at the start. Past another medium runner. Callum's had a great start. He's up to P17. Look, I've got on the curve there, and that's cost me. Mazepin's been able to take me back. So back down to P21 then. <laughs> Turn one is really the only main overtaking opportunity, but I'm going to throw it up the inside here of Mazepin. And we've made that stick, so we're back up to P20. Okay, so we have we have overall taken a place on that one. A little bit of VRS as well. We should hopefully be able to challenge Shinoda here. He's gone defensive. I can't get too aggressive because I will run into the back of Giovinazzi in front of me. If I can hang it around the outside here... Like I say, we will have the inside line for this next turn, and that could be us. Yup. Into P19, we're past Tsunoda. DRS will be active from next lap. Here you go, much better exit there. We're right on his tail now. Here we go, we'll get Giovinazzi now. I'm going to go aggressive with my ERS as well. We're going for the inside line. We're going to get Giovinazzi. That's up to P18. Let's seal off more of these medium oh, runners, smooth. please. Good job. Russell holding up Callum. It's probably too early in the race to call team orders, isn't it? But itching to get past Callum so I can have a crack at George Russell, really. Oh, I was late on the power there. I do have a bit of a run on Callum here. I do have a bit of a run. Is he going to go defensive? He is. We'll take that slipstream. We'll dip to the outside. Try and do my teammate around the outside here. We could be up to P17. Try and do it cleanly. Think of the team, Callum. Think of the team. I know you're, driving, you're racing for your seat as well, but bear in mind, I am the man that would give you that seat. So, thank you. We're past Callum Eyelight. Let's get after Russell. P17. Let's try that switch back here. Kinda worked. <laughs> I'm well out of position there, and now I'm under pressure from behind. Yellow flag somewhere. Yellow okay, flag behind us. What? What? Collision with Callum? I didn't. I didn't feel anything or see, or hear anything at all. I didn't feel that at all. He's out of the Grand Prix. I didn't realise he'd hit me at all. I felt nothing on the controller. Wasn't knocked offline. I ran wide, but I mean, I'm just on the outside the track. That's just him. That is just him driving into me, isn't it? That's just him driving into me. I'm not flashbacking. That's, that's his mistake. I'm on the outside and he is just... I mean... What am I supposed to do to get out of the way of that? He's not alongside me. I don't have to yield the position. That's Callum's mistake. He's understeered into me there. That's his mistake. Well, in his last Grand Prix for the team, Callum has binned it. Well, we won't flash that back because that was his error. Callum Eilert has put himself out of the Grand Prix there. Speed safety car. He's bought out a safety car. Slow your pace immediately. Now what do we what do we do strategy wise? I don't I don't know as I do anything strategy wise. It's too early really. Ricardo, Ricardo's out the race. Ricardo's engine's gone bang behind the safety car. Ricardo's engine has blown up behind the safety car. Unbelievable. That Mercedes engine. It's just gone pop. That might even extend the safety car a bit more. Because he's he's not in a great position there, is he? I'm itching, I'm itching, I'm itching to get past and have a go. We're clear. green flag racing green again. Flag. And we're off. Pit. Oh, lap 13. We could nip up the inside of Russell here, maybe. Leave him racing room. But we're through. We're through on George. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. 
the pace from that Williams, bloody hell. Just drove straight up around the outside of me then. All right, George, calm down, pal. Bloody hell. Well, I thought we'd got 15th. We didn't. I think we could make a one-stop work, but we would have to go... We'd have to make sure we were quick on the hards. Chat, what are we thinking at the minute? One stop or two stop? All right, I want George this lap. A long way back, though. I'm a long way back. I'll try it. 200 miles an hour. Is he going to go defensive? He's not. I'm going to lunge for the inside. We're going to go really deep in the corner. And try and cling on around the outside. He's left me racing room. And we are through on George Russell again. He'll try the switch back, but I'll slow the car down on the apex. We're up. We're past Russell. P15. P15. That is what you call sending it into turn one. George is there on my outside. Now my inside. Now my outside again. We've held the position. Right, now to try and get after Mick Schumacher if we can, but I don't know how easy that's going to be. Mick seems to have this track Caution. nailed down. Caution. Another yellow flag. That's that's a that's a that's a, an alpha an alpha tower. Gasly spun. What's happened to Gasly there? Oh, he's battling with he's battling with Checo. Pierre Gasly's battling with Checo. Let's watch this through. Check on the outside. Gasly gone for the inside, and presumably, yeah, he's bumped over the. What's Pierre Gasly's bumped over the the curb? That's knocked him wide. He's then clipped Checo and spun round. Driver error from Pierre Gasly. The hards are going to have to go a long fucking way for us, but we shall try it. I think I'm going to go for the one stop. Understood. Stop. Just to clarify again, we are stopping. Uh, yeah. Max has gone soft, soft. Stroll has gone soft, soft. So the, the other drivers are two stopping. Those soft runners are two stopping. This lap. The question is, what are those medium runners doing? Those that started on medium tyres, are they going to go medium hard? Or are they going to go medium, medium soft? As of yet, unclear. But we are going to be pitting now for a set of hard tyres with a view to not stopping again. We are going for a one-stop strategy here in the Netherlands that may or may not work out for us. Perfectly timed the pit entry as well. Give me a quick stop, boys. Give me a quick stop, please. This is it. This is the tactical decision that could make or break our Grand Prix. It's not a quick stop. It's three seconds. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. Right. Now we need to put in some great outlaps if we can. Gasly's in the pits. Why is Gasly in the pit? And Ocon too. Gasly and Ocon in the pit. Ocon's out now. Gasly's coming out. We are going to overtake Pierre Gasly again. Obviously we took him when he had his accident. He's gone medium, medium. So they are going to have to stop again. Some of the drivers are going medium, medium, presumably medium, medium, soft. Some of them are going soft, soft, medium. Some of them might well go soft, medium, soft, but we are not planning on stopping again. That's an Alfa Romeo in the pits. I think it's Giovinazzi. Indeed it is. Gio in the pits, he's gone to mediums. Coming out the pits now. Right next to us, in fact. And this is where the whole track position is king thing comes into comes into being because we're holding Gasly and Geo up now. Geo's gone on to softs actually. Geo's gone soft, so he's definitely stopping again. Gasly's got me. Gasly's got me. We had a little bit of a twitch there, went a bit wide. Now Gio's having a look. 
Now Mazepin's in the pits as well. And Sunoda. And Alonso as well, I think. Or is that... No, that would be a Williams. That would be Russell. They're all coming out the pits at the same time. Here's Sunoda. There's Russell. Out alongside Sunoda. And just behind George, who's gone soft. George has gone soft, soft. Sorry, medium, soft. George has gone medium, soft. So the other drivers are definitely two-stopping. There is no shadow of doubt that they are two-stopping. But now that we've committed to this hard tyre, we have to make it work to the end of the Grand Prix. There's no option now. That was Latifi in the pits. So we're back up to P16. He take his glasses off. <laughs> The pace from Tsunoda there, the grip, wow. Still setting green times though, still setting green lap times. Let me take these glasses off. Gio's looking to hang it around the outside. That's not going to work for you, pal. I have anything to say about it. It's just hard racing here to try and keep these guys behind, but every... Every second, every lap, yellow we flag. keep them behind. Yellow flag in front, what's that for? What's the yellow flag in front for? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I've no idea what the yellow flag's for. Oh, no, look, it's Sonoda. It's Sonoda's engine. Yuki's engine's gone bang right at the end of the straight, look. Well, we're going to beat our rival, at least in this Grand Prix. Tyres look good so far that front left is the one that gets the punishing but tyres do look okay so far for the long run it is clouding over now look it did say that there would there was a 20 odd percent chance of rain later in the Grand Prix I think it's just going to be clouds and no actual rain but the track temperature will drop Latifi taking Geo will do us a favour as well actually Blue flag, blue flag. I've got to let a Ferrari through. In the middle of a fucking fight. You can see from the sector times though, we're still putting green laps. So it's obviously they're not as green as they would be if we were on a, a softer compound. We can check the race director, we can check the race director. Let me call the office down while we do that. Woo wee! Warm in here. So, race director, at present, Checo and Lance, the only two to complete their final stop, running in 8th and ninth respectively. That's a word of, that's a light. Max has pit twice as well. At the minute, just those three so far. Mix gone medium soft. Yeah, I guess you're absolutely spot on there, Dyspraxic. You guys made the call to pit when we did at Silverstone that earned us a decent result there, a really good result there. But I think I think the, the call from the chat pit wall to go to try a one-stopper around here. It's just gonna left it's just gonna leave us high and dry and last, I think. Right, chat, I can either try and hang it out and keep Latifi behind me for another 10 laps, 13 laps or so, for another 10 laps or so. Or we can write it off as a, a mistake, pit for softs and just try and go quick for the last few laps. Do we stay stubborn? stick to our guns and stay on these hard tyres or do we pit for softs and just gun it for a few laps to try and make ourselves feel better we made a call pre-race we made a call pre-race and it did not work it just didn't work we win together we lose together 
in San at Silverstone, it went really well. The, the decision we made tactically in Silverstone went fantastically well. The decision we've made here in Zanvor, not so well, not so good. It's frustrating, but that's racing. We took a gamble, and it didn't work. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. So Valtteri behind us is now starting his last lap. He's just done a 109.2 to set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. He is now on his last lap. He's on lap 72. We are on lap 69. Blue flag. And we're now getting blue flagged. So on this last lap, we will let Valtteri through and then follow him over the line and end the Grand Prix. We could have stumbled upon an incredible race strategy today. It could really have... Worked. Jesus Christ, look at the pace difference. It could really have worked wonders for us and we could have had a stellar result. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be the decision to go onto the hard tyres was evidently the wrong one. You guys suggested it, but I was the one that looked at it, agreed, and went with it. So the blame lies with both of us. The blame lies with both of us. We win together, we lose together. And unfortunately, on this time, on this occasion, we have, uh, well, rather significantly lost together. It's going to be a very disappointing P19 last of last. But... We now know that we will never go on the hard tyres ever again. That tyre is not worth touching. Not until, at least, we potentially have one of the best cars on the grid. Then, maybe, we could consider using the hard tyre again. But it's certainly not quick enough right now for us to be able to utilise that tyre compound moving forward. It perhaps, it perhaps might be in the future, but right now, definitely not. Definitely not. Perhaps it completes the meme of the Grand Prix and the way that things end up that we finished on lap 69. So Valtteri wins the, the race, the so let's review closes the on Lewis a little now, bit, but discuss, Ant, who Lewis is still is clearly far, clearly away. Clearly Mazepin away. Mazepin got it's driver of the day. The Where did Mazepin come? Mazepin, 22nd to 16th. 22nd to 16th. Thanks to everyone who joined us. And we'll see you for the next one. That definitively was our worst Grand Prix of the season. But at the same time, we, we were super quick when we were on the soft tyres. So it was just a poor strategy call, not necessarily a lack of a lack of ability in the car or in the team. Callum certainly showed a lack of ability there. Ah, it's answer four questions for PSD and we only answered two, so... We actually don't get much money from that either because we both had massive damage deductions. That's a shame. We're not going to get a massive amount of money there. Now, I think... I think the driver change happens between this round and the next. I think. I believe. It does indeed. Contract renewal is now here. The contract renewal is here. So we will now go and decide what we do in the driver market. Thank you for the follow, Sir Mankind and Yarlix. We will go to the driver market, and we'd already decided that we were not going to renew Callum Eilock's contract. We were going to go for Robert Schwartzman. Unfortunately, he's gone up from 800k to a million, which is slightly more expensive, but rather evidently, rather evidently, he is a much, much better driver for half the price. Half the price. We will approach... Robert Schwartzman, and we'll see if he'll Here sign for us. To your driver. The more you offer, the greater the chance of them agreeing to it. Be careful not to insult drivers, though. If you do, they might refuse to negotiate any more with you in this negotiation period. Now, he wants driver demands level 2. We are level 11, so I think the high risk is probably... He'll probably accept that. He'll probably accept that, because we're such a high driver level. And indeed he has... So we have a new teammate 
Our old teammate crashed out of the race and crashed out of his place in our team. Robert Schwartzman is our new second driver. We will instantly give him G-Force training and improve his focus and his racecraft. And we have some resource points that we can spend. So let's do that now. 700. Do I go for barge balls for drag reduction? I don't think so. Do we go for front wing maybe? Or do we go for something chassis wise? Weight reduction could be good again. We do want the powertrain done. But I can't do that yet because that one's in development. Fuel efficiency isn't a problem for us right now. I could, in fact... Oh, I can't quite afford the engine cover. I can't quite afford the engine cover and the fuel efficiency, but I can afford... I can afford the front wing adjustment bracket and... And the fuel efficiency. So let's... Oh, department capacity reached. Superb. Just what I wanted to hear when I committed to going a certain route. Fan, dabby. Front and dozy. Right. So facilities. It's still in the process. It's not coming through till the 7th of September, which is actually on its way. So we can net... Well, we got lucky hey, there. I've been we got lucky the department there. department has just completed another facility upgrade. I've sent you a message with the details. That is perfect timing because now we can do this. And that has worked out for us in the end. We've only got 96 resource points remaining. And we've got 96 resource points remaining. But please pass rearing upper flat passes as well. The rearing upper flat passes as well. So we have made advances. And we are hopefully going to move forward now with regards to our competitiveness long term. Let's pop the component electronics back in. 40% on the energy store. Just put that one back in. We don't need to change any of these at the minute. So corporate-wise, we're not a level 15 or anywhere near it. We're only level 11, so we won't be able to get another sponsor anytime soon. Uh, there is something here. What have we unlocked? A pose, apparently. What pose, though? Oh, that one. Nah, nah, nah. What are we with that one at the minute, aren't we? I'll go for, I'll go for the arms crossed. Uh, well, that completes a frustrating race weekend that actually still has provided plenty of positives. As literally as Cactus Jack in chat says, it's not all doom and gloom. And we are developing really well. Developing really well. So hopefully we should be competitive over the next few race weekends, provided we get our strategy calls correct. Italy, Russia, Singapore, Japan, USA, Mexico, Brazil, Australia and Abu Dhabi remaining. Callum Island now greyed out, and Robert Schwartzman will come in. Callum Island has DNF'd three times, two engine retirements, and then that crash in that final Grand Prix there. But that's going to bring the YouTube video to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do drop the video a like rating if you've enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me, link, follow me on the links in the description to Twitch and to Twitter as well. Of course, if you enjoy FIFA content, check the main channel too. We'll have a new series starting there soon, but for now... That's it for this YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in Italy.